explaining DNA replication. DNA replication is important as it occurs right before mitosis and meiosis. In order for there to be new cells, there has to be the duplicated DNA. And mitosis and meiosis are both very important for human um, growth and development, which is mitosis, and for genetic variety and creating new offspring, which is meiosis. So, first, there are f um, four main enzymes that make this DNA replication work. So, the first is helicase. Helicase cuts the DNA apart. So DNA is a double helix structure and it has two strands. So when DNA replication occurs, these two strands have to be cut apart and that's what helicase does. Each strand of DNA has single stranded binding proteins and they keep the DNA from coiling back together again. DNA is read from five prime to three prime and three prime to five prime. This is a deoxyribose sugar molecule, which is what DNA is made of. So this reads like this, one prime, two prime, three prime, four prime, and five prime. The five prime is always located outside of the molecule. And new nucleotides only get added to the base of this molecule, and this is the base. So it can only be added to this three prime. The next is topi isomerase. Topi isomerase prevents the DNA from supercoiling. Supercoiling is harmful because imagine that a spring or a rubber band is being twisted around too much. Eventually it will break. And the same thing happens with DNA. So the next is the DNA primase. The DNA primase creates the new strands of DNA using the RNA primer. So in the new DNA, then the two new DNAs, there is going to be one old strand from the old DNA because DNA has two strands. So one strand will go to each new DNA and one strand of each of those two new DNAs will be new made by the DNA primase using the RNA primer. The next is the lagging strand and the leading strand. So as I said earlier, DNA is read from five prime to three prime and three prime to five prime. So, and also, as I mentioned earlier, new nucleotides are always added only to the three prime end. So this base here is being read from three prime to five prime. And this new strand over here is being made from five prime to three prime. So it will, it goes, it goes as planned because the, it's going to just be keep, it's going to keep adding on the three prime end. So it's going to keep adding on this end, which is what we want. So that's why this is called the leading strand. Also, if if one strand of DNA is being read from three prime to five prime, then the opposite will have to be read from five prime to three prime because they have to be opposites so that they match. So in this um, example, the the bottom strand, the base strand, is being read from five prime to three prime. So that means this top strand is being made from three prime to five prime, and that's a problem because then. It would because then since it's only added to the three prime the new nucleotides it's getting made this way and that's not what we want so the left so that so that's not what we want so that's why this is called the lagging strand so this dna will have this dna strand will have to be made in fragments called the okazaki fragments then the next is the dna polymerase also known as pola so the DNA polymerase only goes for the um on, only works on the three prime to five prime n and it helps. It's basically like a proofreader and the proof editor for this DNA for the DNA molecule and making new strands because there's so many things that could go wrong in this. Like you could match up the incorrect nucleotides. You could um and there's oh, there's so many things that could go wrong. So this DNA polymerase is basically like a spell check or a proofreader that proofreads and makes sure everything is correct. So, okay, this is an overview of the DNA replication process. Hopefully you understood it and thank you.